Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your first library. But first off, let's take a look at where KaiCAD saves the, uh, the default libraries. So we go into the Explorer, my C drive, Program 86, KaiCAD, and in this folder, the Share folder, we have the libraries. And this is a default KiCad libraries, the libraries that comes with KiCad. So it's not the best place to place your libraries here because all these files are managed by KiCad and when there's an update for KiCad these libraries may change or even the location of these libraries may change in the future so you don't really know if this folder is going to look the same as it is today. So what you need to do is to place your component libraries somewhere else. And I like to do that in my Dropbox because I want to be able to share my own personal libraries with my laptop and my stationary PC. So I go into private. I have a folder here called KiCad Projects and I have created a folder called my libraries. It's empty for the moment and let's start KiCad. Go into the schematics. Uh, so at the moment I have only created the folder and no libraries are created. So in KiCad there isn't any way to create an empty library. So what you need to do is create a component or import a component from an already existing library and then save that in a special folder and then the library is created. So let's go up here, library editor, create and edit components. So this is the library editor. So let's select the default library first, the device library. And let's bring in a component. Show all and let's add a simple component like a resistor or something. Let's see here. There we get one resistor. And this resistor is saved in the device library, the default library that has standard components like resistors, capacitors, switches and things like that. It's saved there. But we want to take this component and save it to our own library which we haven't created yet. And maybe we want this resistor to look different. So let's delete the body here and let's make it an American version. Like that. But we shouldn't save this to our device library, we should save it to our own library. So go up here, save current component to new library. Let's go to KiCad projects, my libraries. Let's name this library, my library. Save. This library will not be available until it's loaded by eSchema. Modify the eSchema library configuration if you want to include it as part of this project. So, okay, let's do that. Go up to Preference, Library, and here are all the libraries that comes with KiCad, but our library is not here. So, to be able to add the library here, we need to include a search path for it, a user-defined search path. So, add and then we go into the Dropbox, private, KiCad, my libraries. This is the search part for the library, so choose the folder. Use relative path, uh, I don't know, no. And now I think we can add this new library, add. And here is the library that we created. So open up. And now it should be added to 
the component library files. So now we have a library called my library that we could use. So, okay, let's press OK. Okay, so let's close that and try to add that new component. You can press A as add, or we can go up here. The same thing, show all. Select our new library. Where is it? My library. There it is. Okay. And we have one component, the resistor. Let's select that. But what is what is happening here? I mean, this isn't the component we just created. We selected my library, but it show up as the European version, not the American one that we just created. Well, if we go into preference here again, go into library, and we get this list of all the libraries that we are using, KiCad is looking at the name we specified. In this case, it looks for a component called R. And in our device library up here, we have a component called R. And that's the European version. So when KiCad goes through this list, looks into the power folder, and there's no component called R there, then it goes to device folder, and as soon as it sees the component R, that's the one it's going to place. And our library that we created, that we called my library, it's at the end of this list. So when you create a component, and that component has the same name as a component already existing in KiCad. You need to move this up. And you do that by pressing this key, up key. You just move it up, 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 up. So now my library folder has a component called R and KiCad will select that first. The device version will not be selected. Press OK. And if we just zoom in and out here, it changed the component to the one that we created. And if you take a look down here, the old component that we placed there in the beginning from the device library has also changed to the American version. So this is a little trap that you should be aware of, that this is how it's done. You go into Preference, Library, and you need to select which library you want to be used first. If you name the component a name that doesn't exist in any libraries from KiCad, then you can put it in the end of that list with no problem. So this is how you create your own new library and how to put a component into that library using an existing component from another library. And I think that's the easiest way to create a new library. There are some other ways, but I find this one most simple.